Without wasting your time, we are going to share top 5 best bike lock. The product links are in the description and in first comment. The number 5 on the list is Hiplock Gold Wearable Chain Lock. Hiplock Gold Wearable Chain Lock, the lock definitely feels more heavy duty and secure than your average U lock, and from the research I did, it absolutely is. I figured the flexibility and length would allow the ability to possibly use this lock on non-bike specific parking spots and might give me some extra options for spots to lock up as I don't typically ride to places frequented by cyclists and there therefore aren't always dedicated bike racks and stands readily available. What I found in practice is that although the chain seems like a good length when going around the frame and through a wheel you really don't have a lot left to use in order to lock up, and while it is absolutely ample for use on your average street sign, pole, bike racks etc. it doesn't really allow the length necessary to put it around something like a thick street lamp, which you obviously couldn't do with a U-lock either. In short, I generally end up looking for bike-specific parking anyway as opposed to something like a heavy-duty solid metal fence which you might not be able to put the bike in a position to utilize the extra length this affords over a U-lock. Aside from that, I found that the lock is reasonably comfortable to wear around the waist when riding, and while it does add some weight, it is fine for 5 to 6 miles or so, which is probably the longest I've ridden with the lock worn. I've also found that I can wrap the lock once around the top tube and once around the fork and then lock it to itself so that it is completely snug to the bike frame, tubing protected by the covering, and it does not hang or get in the way of my legs the wheel, etc. So with a bit of creativity, you can have an option to wear it on your body, bike or just throw it in a backpack. I found that when wearing it, I needed to shorten it to the absolute shortest possible length in order to wear around the waist snugly, and I am roughly a 31 to 32 waist. I was under the impression that it could be worn for smaller waists, but I'm not sure how that could be the case unless you weren't attaching. The number 4 on the list is Kryptonite Evolution. Kryptonite Evolution, compared to most other less expensive locks that I've had, this Kryptonite Evolution appears to be better crafted, has a much heavier crossbar, the cylinder engages, the shackle at both ends, the keying system feels more like a real lock, and it seems to be robust overall, these are impressive qualities that I do appreciate, and they make me feel better about locking in high crime areas. However there are some issues the 13mm shackle is really not much heavier than most other locks, the shackle is a little too short for many real world applications, the keying is sticky, and the bracket mount needs improvement. For a lock at this price, these issues are a little disappointing. I guess I can live with the 13mm shackle with the understanding that it's a trade-off for lighter carrying weight. The shorter shackle is a bigger issue. Another inch would make it so much easier to lock in many situations. The keying can be frustrating to engage, but maybe it's just the individual lock that I purchased. The thing that I dislike most is the bracket mount. It's complicated to install. Once installed it's even harder to reinstall in a different location if you need to after you've trimmed the band. The bracket's bulky shape just doesn't look that great when mounted. Also on the issue of aesthetics. The color of the lock itself is a brighter orange than it looks to be on most web photos. Perhaps this was a marketing decision for brand identity. A more neutral color would look so much better on most bikes. I knew this when I purchased that the shackle was smaller, it cuts a lot on the weight which is still is not small. The shackle makes the lock really only work for hooking on the cable which really negates the benefits of the system. You really have to park bike close to get frame close enough to get the shackle around a piece of the bike rack. Otherwise it just works like a padlock and cable which decreases the security it provides by quite a bit. The number 3 on the list is a bus granite. The bus granite, the lock itself is solid, but don't take my word for it as there are plenty of reviews on the internets that have done many tests on it, showing that it is up there with the kryptonite fidget about it. Also the frame mount that it comes with is a great. Now the reason for docking a star in this is applicable to any a bus lock that advertises the ability to get matching keys on yours locks. 
First off the locks that advertise that they can be matched to other locks fail to make it clear that there are two different levels of keys and they cannot be matched to each other. Z plus locks can only be matched to other Z plus locks and your plus can only be matched to your plus. On its own this isn't a big deal and I understand that their higher end locks like this product use a better lock key but it does mean that you won't be able to match it to your Ebix battery lock. Second and the much bigger issue is that in order to get a matching lock key, you need to buy the first lock and get the code off of the key, find a store that will order from a bus for you, there is no way to do this through Amazon, and many other online retailers hope that the store that does it knows how. I called two bike stores that carry a bus and it took multiple people at each store to determine if it was even something they could do, and then them wondering how to do it when they finally found someone who knew how to do it, he informed me that it took 4.5 months for a bus to send the lock to the store, this may have been slowed by COVID, but he said even before COVID it took two or more months. If you do decided to go forward, you must pay 20% extra on top of MSRP, so you are taking an expensive lock that you could probably find for less than MSRP, paying MSRP on it, and then adding another 20%. It's nice that a bus offers a program to have matching keys, but when that process is so cumbersome, months to get you a lock and costly, buying this lock again to match would result in me paying 85% more than I paid it for most it is likely just easier to carry one additional key. If you are the market for this type of lock and want an additional matching lock, you probably don't want to wait months for that lock to arrive. The number two on the list is Kryptonite Cryptolock. Kryptonite Cryptolock Standard U-Lock features a 12.7 mm hardened performance steel shackle with a double deadbolt anti-rotation design that resists bolt cutters and twisting leverage attacks. The lock's disc-style cylinder with center keyway is protected by a vinyl coating and is pick and drill resistant. The keyway also features a sliding dust cover to protect the cylinder from dirt and debris when not in use. It includes two stainless steel keys with an ergonomic design to reduce torque and keep them from bending or breaking. Rated at a 610 on our security scale, the Cryptolock standard is good for quick stops in a metropolitan area, a couple hours in the suburbs or all day and overnight in rural areas. It also includes our patented FlexFrame U bracket providing convenient multi-location U-lock, transport the combination of these great features and our support programs, including key safe, anti-theft protection, this is a serious lock, for 50 bucks. Unless you live in New Orleans, your bike will be safe, with this bad boy. Doesn't look ugly either, and the mounting, is very flexible. Only thing is that it travels, like crazy over bumps. Small price to pay, for keeping a more expensive, bike secure. I used to own the New York lock and like I said, if you're not a NOLA, it's kind of overkill. If you ride a nicer whip, you need to have a U-lock, and I trust kryptonite. The lock is just a high quality, U-lock no problems, acts as advertised. But the attachment that allows you to attach the lock to your bike is kind of whack. Instead of the high quality metal that the rest of the lock is, it's this cheap plastic. The lock attachment is advertised to fit inside your frame, but for my size large bike with a water bottle holder it just didn't work out. Maybe on comfort bikes it would work, but defiantly, not on a front suspension hybrid bike. The number one on the list is a bus. A bus, whichever lock you go with, make sure it can loop around your lockup point a bike rack, a secure fence and through the triangular part of your bike frame, plus the spokes of your rear wheel. The photo above shows this method. Don't forget to remove accessories before you leave your bike. Thread the lock through the loose points. Bikes are easy to disassemble, so make sure you thread the lock through the rear triangle in the frame, as shown above, and that both wheels are secured to the lock-up point. It's very easy for thieves to steal an unsecured front wheel, especially if the wheel has a quick-release skewer. Some people use two locks, you can also buy separate cables to combine with any of the locks I mentioned. Keep your U-lock away from the ground. Thieves like to take a bottle jack, normally used for jacking up a car, and place it inside the U. With enough pumping, the jack can break the lock open. 
If you get the, you lock away from the, ground, it makes it hard, for them to do this. You also want to get, a U lock that has as little, extra space inside, the U as possible. The less extra space, the less room there, is for thieves to jam, crowbars or other tools through it. Inspect your lockup, spot before you decide, to park there. Thieves are known, to dislodge poles and, signposts from the ground, and then place them, back in the hole. All they have to, do is wait for you to, lock up your bike and leave, then they can, lift the post out of the, hole to free your bike, no tools or noise required. Check out bike racks, too especially if you see, tape wrapped around, them bike thieves are, known to saw through, racks and then wrap, the cut section in tape, to hide their work. When bike owners, walk away from a locked, bike the thief can yank, the tape off, pry the severed bike rack, apart enough to slide, your lock out, and be on their way.